Good morning. Last week we learned how to solve quadratic equations. This week we're going to continue that by using the quadratic formula. So before we start, let's do a quick recap of what we looked at last week. We learned that we could solve quadratic equations in two ways. The first way was by graphing. If we have a graph of a quadratic equation, we discovered that the solution to the equation x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0 would be where the function y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3 intersects the x-axis. So if the function intersects the x-axis at 1, 0, and 3, 0, then the solution to the equation will be x equal to 1 and x equal to 3. We also learned how to use algebra to solve quadratic equations and we learned that in two different ways. The first way was to take the square root of both sides. We also learned that we could set the equation equal to zero and factor. Now, this week we're going to look at another way to solve a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. So again, if we have a quadratic equation and it's in standard form, that means it's equal to zero, then it's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. The quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. So look at an example, 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 equals zero. It's equal to zero and that's important. So I first identify a, b, and c. a is always the coefficient on the x squared term b is always the coefficient on the x, and c is always the constant. Now using the quadratic formula, so I'm going to substitute negative 5 for b, 2 for the a, and negative 12 for the c. Now we do the arithmetic, remembering that the negative number squared, that negative 5 squared, is a positive 25 and combine. Notice that I have the square root of 121, that's a perfect square, and when I have a square root of a perfect square like this, you want to replace it with its square root, so I have 5 plus or minus 11 over 4. Now that gets split into two equations, one with the plus and one with the minus, and then you do the arithmetic. For the plus side, x equals 4, and for the minus side, x equals negative 3 halves. Well, wow. that formula is something else, huh? A lot to remember, though. So here's one way that you might be able to remember the quadratic formula. The negative boy couldn't decide whether or not to go to the radical party or B square and miss out on four awesome chicks. The whole party was over by 2 a.m. Okay, that's it for this week. You're going to have some practice problems using the quadratic formula. And remember, if you have questions, you can always see a math teacher near you. <laughs>